friends. I am up to December 12th in my December Daily 2019 album and I have got two stories that I want to try to tell today. One of the ones uh, I want to talk about is the story of just kind of a couple of things I noticed around work. That's one of the pictures that I took here of the carolers in the atrium and being able to listen to the music in the hallway. And then the other story is about us decorating our Christmas tree. So if you remember on the 11th I had made this pocket to hold the kids letters to Santa. So this is what I'm starting out with today. I need to do something, well I don't need to, but I would like to do something with the back of this envelope. And then I've got lots of space over here on the right hand side to get telling the rest of my story. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this out of my album so that I can work directly on this surface. I'm just going to set this aside for safekeeping. So the story that I want to tell on the left hand side, I thought this would be the perfect home for the one about the music. Originally I had thought that I would just cover this entire surface with a full page photo and go ahead and add a few things on top of that. And I think on its own this looks pretty good. The thing that stopped me from doing that, or that I hadn't considered, was that on the right hand side of my spread, it's going to be very photo heavy already. And so I thought this might be a good spot to have a little bit of breathing room and kind of mix in a few other colors and embellishments rather than just having back to back to back to back photos that also have got a lot of different things going on. So I'm changing up my approach just a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the envelope to try to protect them a little bit. So one of the things I found in my stash was this super cute little 3x4 fa la 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 card. And that's kind of perfect because the picture that I want to add is this miniature size version now of the caroling that's happening. Um, I'm going to pull back the big picture again so I can explain this a little better. I love this photo because there's lots of different things happening here and if you look really closely you can see kind of people's hands and arms sticking over the railing because there are multiple levels so I think I was on like the third floor up looking down and you can see that there are people who have stopped all along the way in their journey to listen to the Christmas music. Um, there's just something so magical about that and it's one of my favorite things about the holidays uh, where I work at the Cancer Center. So I have shrunk that down to just be like almost like an Instax size photo and I want to go ahead and cut this out to stick on top of that fa la 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 card. Just, it's almost like making a little scrapbook page or spread, I guess. Okay, so my plan is, I want to, oh, here's the other thing. I want to add just a little bit of stitching around the outside edge here. However, I can't stitch it directly to the pocket because then I'd be sealing the pocket shut. So obviously that's not going to work for me. What I can do though is just run this card through my sewing machine to still get a border of thread around the outside edges there. The other thing I want to do is I want to just kind of tuck this photo right on top here. And I think I'm probably going to stamp the date at the bottom. The other thing that I wanted to play with is I have these branches in my stash. This was a crepe paper product. I believe that they released it probably for at least two years. The year that I got it, the collection was called Snowflake. So I was playing with these because I just really love them and I tried just kind of wrapping them around each other. In this picture, there is a wreath at the top of the photo and something about that struck me that I wanted to try to repeat or mimic that. So I went ahead and wound some of these branches together and then just looped a little bit of ribbon through the top and I think I'm going to hang that down on here. The other thing is that that photo makes me think about that song or the line in the song in the air there's a feeling of Christmas and that's kind of my jumping off point for this story about the feeling of hearing the, the carolers singing Christmas music um, up through the atrium there. So I went ahead and typed out that jumping off point um, on just some matte photo paper. I want to cut this off into strips and I think that I want to spread these strips across the wreath here at the bottom. Got a little tiny bow. 
but that's going to stick on too, too, hopefully. And then the other thing is that I did do just a little bit of journaling to explain that. I just said, in the air there's a feeling of Christmas. It's impossible not to feel it when the carolers' voices echo up through the floors of the atrium. It was so fun to see all the people who paused to listen on their way through the halls. A reminder that there really is something magical this time of year. Lunch at Papa Leo's with my work family made the day even better. So I'm going to cut this out, punch a hole in there so it'll be like a tag, and tuck it in behind the 3x4 card. So that is my plan, and I am going to get to work here.
Okay, so that is the left side of the spread all set. And next, I need to piece together the right-hand side. So that is gonna be a big guy. Um, so on that side, I'm gonna do a full page photo. And then I'm gonna do one of these flip open pockets. So I've got um, a three by eight pocket here that's gonna flip open over top of this photo. I have a couple, a variety of different photos here, um, and plus this journaling card. This was from one of the Paisley Press mini kits. I honestly cannot remember what year it was. I'm thinking it might have been 2019, that collection. I'm gonna pop that one on there for sure. I have got this photo where, this doesn't happen very often, but I was able to capture a photo of like, my husband and Liam and Emily all decorating the tree at the same time. So that one's definitely going in there. And then I also have close-up photos of the kids doing their decorations, uh, or putting decorations on the tree. And I think they are gonna go on the inside. And then in addition to that, I also took photos of the special ornaments that they had picked out for themselves that year, along with, if I can find it, Hmm. along with um, some 3x4 journaling cards that I printed. So this was like the digital 6x8 transparency of that wreath from the 2020 collection, I believe. And I just shrunk it down so it would fit on a 3x4 card and did a little bit of journaling about each of their ornaments. So my plan is that on the inside of this spread, over here, Basically, these pictures are gonna go on top and flip up to reveal the journaling, plus a photo of the kids putting them on the tree. So a couple different moving parts here, and I am just going to go ahead and get to work. So first I'm gonna do the construction for this flip open pocket. So I have my divided page protector here. This is one of the three by eights that's got the two three by four pockets in it. What I wanna do is create a crease that is on the whole side edge of this separation here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it over just with my fingers as best I can first. And then I'm gonna go back over that crease again with a bone folder tool to really kind of firm it up. press it down on both sides just to try to get a nice sharp crease there. Okay, so this is going to fold open on this edge of my photo. So I'm gonna flip this over and do a strip of adhesive on this side. I want to use uh, my red line tape um, this stuff is usually pretty strong. I usually like to use the one that's just a little bit wider. I think it's the quarter inch size. This one is only an eighth of an inch. But I ordered it online and I didn't realize the size difference. And so there you go. Sometimes that happens. There we go. And then this is going to be sandwiched. This is going to be the back side of this page or spread. So this is going to attach onto here as well.
Okay, looks pretty good. There's just a little bit of a um, tiny bit of a size difference between the two photos, so I'm just going to use my scissors to go ahead and trim off the trim them up so that they match in size. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out just kind of like the finishing touches for this part of the spread here. Um, on the back side, I've got a full page photo. I used some of these gold puffy stickers from American Crafts. Uh, it says they're called Joyous. They're just really pretty. Um, 
to add that word art that says twinkle on the back and I'm going to kind of leave that one as is. And then on the front side here, uh, I was considering using these little tabs. So this is two separate um, chipboard sets from previous uh, Paisley Press kits. And luckily, there are two of them that have got the same tab shape or die on it. And I'm considering using those just on the inside edge here, putting like the love this on one side possibly. And then the other one says, file this under favorites on the inside. I think that that would probably look really cute. I'm just not sure how well it's gonna stick because it's already a pretty heavy spread and I've got lots going on here. I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see how it goes. So there's the first one. Trying to get it right on that seam. And then we'll grab the other guy and try to line it up equally on the other side. Ooh, wish me luck. Okay. I think that's on there. Looks, looks pretty even. I think that's pretty good. And then the other thing is that I was going to put a number 12 on here. So here's what I'm doing with my number organization these days. I picked up a bunch of these snack size Ziploc bags from the dollar store and each bag has got a different, like e its own number in it. And then I just attached them all on a ring so I can just hang it up or it can sit pretty safely on my desk. It keeps them all together and it seems to be working pretty well for me. So I'm just gonna flip over to my number 12 bag and take a look to see what my options are here. I'm gonna try to keep this closed while I decide, just because that might influence my choice just a little bit. Here are my 12 options. The wood veneer, I like that because it goes well with the kind of craft colored cardstock on the other side. Alternatively, I could consider putting it up here, but I think that I really like it on this space down here. I think I'm gonna stick with that plan. Uh, I've got a gold one, but I don't really have any other gold on there, so I think that that one's out, I think. I've got a couple different shapes of just the white. The white works well because it makes almost like this triangle between the journaling card and then the number and then the photo and strips on the other side, so that is a good option. If I don't like that style of font, I've got this one, which also looks good. And I've also got the white polka dot with some gold on it. Again, the gold, I don't think that works on this, this particular one. I've got a cork one, and I've got a black one that is too dark. Okay, I think that my favorite picks are still either the wood veneer or the white. And honestly, I think the wood veneer feels like it's the gentlest on my eyes. I think that's the one I'm gonna go with. I'm going to pop it in so that it kind of lines up with the journaling above and creates a line down. Yep, I think that's my pick. Oh, the other one I have too is this one that's like, like a vellum or a clear acetate. I think the wood veneer is still my favorite. I'm going to go with the wood veneer. And then I'm just going to pop all of my number 12s back into their, their home here. Seal it up. Okay, so I think I will probably use some of this super skinny red line tape to attach it to the page. And then the last step will just be to put it all in my album.